Hey everyone, in this quick video I will explain how to fix Valorant with error code 19003. So please follow the steps with me and let's get this issue fixed. On your desktop, right click on Valorant, go to properties, then select compatibility and make sure this option is selected. Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. And if this one is checked for run this program as administrator, uncheck this one, then click apply and OK. Follow the same process for right client. So just right click on it, go to properties, then compatibility. Make sure this one is checked. Uncheck run this program as administrator. Click apply and OK. And next, we need to get into our device BIOS. So to do that, just go to your device settings. And on the left, click on system. Then scroll down and look for recovery. So just click on recovery. Over here where it says advanced startup, we need to click on restart now. This is, depends on your device motherboard. So you can just check on the internet to see what keys you need to press to get into the BIOS. And once you get into your device BIOS, then select advanced and then enable the AMD FTPM switch. And for Intel system, you can do the same thing. Select advanced and then make sure to enable PTT. And for Intel system, you can do the same thing. Select advanced and then make sure to enable PTT. Next, we need to enable secure boot. So to do that, select boot and then scroll down and select secure boot. And after that, make sure to select Windows UEFI mode under OS type. And once you're done, then you need to make sure to save the changes. So to do that, just go to exit. And then after that, select save changes and restart. And once you're done, then just go to exit and select save changes and reset. And after you restarted your device to confirm the configuration, just go to your search bar and type in there TPM and then select device security. And in here, you got a few options for security processor, which is the TPM one. So if you just click on security processor, it will give you all the information in here. And the next one is secure boot, which is you can see is already turned on. So now you have enabled the BIOS settings, then your Valorant should be working fine. Now you can log into your account and hopefully this should fix the issue. Also, please don't forget to let me know in the comments below if these solutions worked out for you. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.